the Smiles Tribe. Good evening. One second, y'all. One second. I ain't got my microphone. One, two, at least the Smiles Tribe in the building. You know what I'm saying? It's going down on a Saturday night. We about to get these hair tips. We about to keep y'all motivated. While you work out, don't be afraid to work out with your natural hair. All right, I had to give you that little intro. So we're going to get started with some church announcements. I had to get my microphone. Um... All right, Mama Judy, don't be blowing my phone up now. All right. Um. Okay, let me get myself together. Y'all forgive me. I, I underestimated my time when I was on So So's Live. I was out grocery shopping and doing stuff, and I thought 915 would be enough, so that's why I delayed. And I had, to, I had to come inside the house and take off my outside clothes. I don't wear my outside clothes inside. So I had to switch to something else. Cause this pollen is out here and I, and y'all know how my allergies be. So, um, also church announcement is y'all make sure y'all share this with anybody who y'all know might be working out with their natural hair and they're trying to figure out how to do it. So this information could be helpful to them. So share it with a family or friend. Other church announcement I have is thanks to y'all. I am down to three bonnets left and i just had an order that just came in right before i went live i think it was lisa h thank you so much for ordering i didn't see what you ordered but maybe she got a bonnet so we might be down to two bonnets now so y'all have almost soaked me out on bonnets i'm so grateful for that and i'm almost sold out on body butter that's why i said i need to make some more i'm probably gonna be up late tonight because i kind of had some starbucks a little late so i'm about to stay up and get the whipping Get the whipping. So more body butter is on the way. And also another church announcement. Since we are switching seasons, I do have nutmeg and apple cinnamon body butter left. But that's going to be discontinued until we get back into the fall. But I do have some new scents coming up, which is Caribbean Escape, which was a great seller last year for the spring. And also I have Mango Madness coming up. So those are some interesting scents I'm going to be working on, so be on the lookout for those. Whoever kind of church announcement. These are my this this uh episode is sponsored by Lisa's Glow Butter. If you haven't got you none, get you some. We still have lavender. We still have eucalyptus spearmint, especially for those that's trying to you know need to go to sleep at night. You need a little you know want to feel relaxed. Okay. So any more church announcements we have? We're going to go ahead and greet everybody that's in the bed, and we're going to say, Hey, Acacia. I go, Acacia. Hey, Acacia. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, if you're watching the replay, this is what we're going to do, okay? All right, you going to, you, we're going to get it in with the church announcements first, and then we'll get into the gyms. All right, we got Q Scott was first in the building. Q Scott was waiting in the vestibule. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Um, Q Scott was waiting in the vestibule in the waiting room. So thank you, Q Scott, for being the first one in the chat. We have the debt demolisher. I hope you are cooking. I hope you are eating by now and getting your rest. Okay, because you had a long day today. Lisa H is in the building. Okay, the debt demolisher says she's about to start. Cooking, so my phone will be down while listening. Okay, that's fine, cause we want you to eat, honey. Eat, eat, eat. I seen you on live eating that uh cookie, that Chick Fil A cookie, and I actually had Chick Fil A yesterday. Okay, all right. Tracy Ann is in the building. Divinity is in the building, and who else we have in the building tonight? I think I said Tracy Ann. Girl, I don't wear my outside clothes inside either. And I have a, and I have an inside bra. I 
ain't got no inside bra. My inside bra is Jesus. It's the gravity, okay? <clears throat> There's no, I don't have an inside bra, okay? That's why yesterday, when y'all was like, yeah, Lisa, go live, go live. I'm like, I don't take off my bra. Like, <laughs> that is a job. Hello. All right. Hello. If you a heavy chested like me, this is a job. This is a second job, okay? We'll be going overtime, all right? So, yeah. These things we need and rest, okay? With these things, mother rest, all right? All righty. So, ooh, Caribbean escape. Yes. So, so, you from Jamaica, come on. You might like that one. Well, I think anybody's going to like that. Okay, so we done, Kiki. Okay, let's get into the topic. We're going to talk about working out with your natural hair. It, you know, the seasons are changing. We still at the beginning of the year. So, I know y'all have goals about... Y'all want to get fit, you want to start working out, and you're just trying to figure out how can I work out and still, you know, wear my natural hair, preserve my style, what are some things I should be doing before and after or doing my workout, like, because I don't want our hair to be an excuse on why we don't work out, because my thing is, if I'm all about healthy hair, I'm all about, you know, taking care of the inside out and so that means i'm always asking y'all are y'all exercising are y'all walking because when you are healthy on the inside it's going to show on our scalp it's going to show in our hair because when we're doing what we're supposed to do it's going to thrive all out so i'm going to be giving y'all some tips so the first thing you need to do first thing you need to do is get you a schedule get you a workout schedule okay maybe your day is going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or maybe it's going to be Monday through Friday and you take the weekends off. The reason why I say get you a schedule with your working out, so that way you can schedule your hair care routine. And you, can, you can schedule your hair care routine around your workout schedule. So that's very important. That's the first thing. Figure out what days you can be working out, working out and what's going to be your rest days. And maybe on your rest days, you can do your hair care. So, the first thing is when it comes to working out with your natural hair, you want to kind of like pull it up. Keep it off your neck. Um, just kind of pull it up into a puff. Like if your hair is the length of mine, mine is not that long yet, but I just put these little bands on, just have it up and out the way. If you have in box braids or crochets, if you somebody you have locks, kind of lift it up. Lift it off your neck. You want to kind of stay cool during your workout. And all of that. All right. So second thing I'm gonna tell y'all, I ain't really got no I ain't I don't really got no points or no numbers, but if y'all pick up the points and numbers, y'all can drop them in the chat or in the comments, help somebody out. But I'm just going with the flow. I'm just going off the top of my head. Just this the stuff I know. But if y'all have questions as I'm talking about this, if something spark, you know, like, oh, I'm wondering about this, drop it in the comments or in the chat and I can answer it. So also, when you're working out, do not, y'all have heard me say this before, if you've, you know, been following me for a while, or you're a client of mine, you don't want to work out in a satin bonnet. Now, I know y'all love the Styles by Lisa Smiles bonnets, but do not go to the gym and embarrass me. Well, it will be like a little free promotion. Now, I ain't even going to lie to you. I ain't even going to, I ain't going to lie. It'll be a little promotion because people are like, oh, I like that bonnet, but. Don't wear your bonnets to the gym. Number one is ghetto. Okay? <laughs> it's ghetto. I don't care. I don't want to hear y'all in the comments. It's ghetto. Don't wear the bonnet to the gym. Number two is you don't want to wear your bonnet to the gym because what happens when we work out? We sweat. Okay? We sweat. We releasing toxins. We releasing all that kind of stuff. And it's as Especially if you're somebody who sweat in your hair and your hair a lot, what does satin do? What, what, what do I tell y'all to do at night? I tell y'all don't go to bed without putting a satin or silk scarf on your head because satin locks the moisture in. It keeps everything in. So that's what we do at night. But when you go to the gym, think about it. You are sweating. You are releasing toxins. And when you have that bonnet on, what you think that's doing? What you think that's doing? It is keeping everything locked in that bonnet. 
everything. Or let's just say you wearing a, a scarf. You you tying the scarves all over your head. What none of you, no hair exposed out. You got a scarf. I'm gonna talk about scarves too. What you can do. So if we were in satin and silk to the gym and we're doing a lot of sweating, it's nasty. We trapping all that in. And my thing is, are y'all going to sleep with these same bonnets on that y'all worked out in? Now, that's your business, but I was going to tell you, cleanliness is next to godliness, okay? We need to wash these bonnets, okay? We need to wash them. Hey, Coach Sheena. Hello, ladies. I made it. This is right on time. I've been wearing my natural hair and working out. Yes, Coach Sheena, you join at the right time, okay? And Divinity say, I sleep with satin wrap and sleep on a satin pillowcase. Yeah, so Divinity, you're right. We sleep with satin because when we go to bed, you know, more than likely we have cotton, polyester, whatever you have it, pillowcases and sheets. And so, especially with natural hair, is the most common thing I hear. My hair is always dry. It's lacking moisture. So, if we are laying on these cotton and polyester and our natural hair is rubbing up against it, it's drying it out even more. So, that's why we wear satin and silk to bed. So, we can keep everything in and it won't be a whole lot of friction, Okay. That satin gonna make it glide. It's not gonna be a whole lot of friction. Gonna keep everything locked in. But when we work out, think about the opposite. We don't want to wear these bonnets with everything closed in. You want your hair to be breathable. That scalp need to get some air, some fresh air, some fresh oxygen. All that is good for your hair. Okay. Tracy Ann said, "I hear you, Lisa. I have, I have to wash my bonnets periodically, and that's what I say." Don't just have one bonnet. Have multiple bonnets because, you know, I told y'all before, when you get your hair done, you don't got a fresh, good old shampoo. Don't go home and put that same nasty, crusty bonnet. You need to put, you need to have a new one or a fresh one. Okay. So we need to keep these bonnets in rotation. Okay. Keep these bonnets in rotation. All right. So when we work out, we want to have something light and breathable. Now, what are some suggestions? Some people are like, okay, Lisa, well, what can I do to my hair while I'm working out? Okay, so something like this, what I have right here is called like a um, a bandy. And I think I got this off the satinlife.com. And I don't have no affiliate link. I'm just letting y'all know. But I actually wear these as, as decoration. I mean, as like little hair accessories. But you can wear something something like this. And from my understanding, let me double check while I'm on live. Let me double check. Oh, it's called, it's called the Wrap Life. Wrap Life. And this is polyester and spandex. Okay. So it's polyester and spandex. So something like this will be able, you can tie down like your edges or just something just to kind of keep your hair off your face. And it's not really covering your whole head. So, your scalp can still get some air and it's still breathable. So, you can wear something like this. I know on Amazon, and I think one of my clients had told me about, they also have like another kind of, um, I think it's called, you know what, let's do some research. Hold on, let's go on Amazon. I know y'all like, Lisa, you doing this on live? Yes, we doing this on live. Okay. Because we live, baby. We live. Um, what is it called? I think it was called the Sweat Band for Hair. Oh, this a Sweat Band for Hair. Black women. Boy, people be putting up in here, don't it? Okay, so yeah. Now, I used to call these the little bands they used to wear for, um, I think, Allen Iverson. Y'all remember Allen Iverson back in the day? I'm pulling this up like y'all can see it, but... They definitely have some sweatbands. Maybe I can link this on the, in the description box when I get done. But where you like some sweatbands, like around your edges, and that will keep um, your your edges and stuff dry and nice and breathable. So you want something to be just to be honest. You want something cotton and you want something breathable. 
Now, back in the day, we used to actually wear bandanas. Now, now be careful with the bandanas. We don't want to say we're affiliated with any kind of gang, but you know what I mean. Like, you can fold the bandana and then just make it, and you can tie it around. That's cotton base, and that's going to keep your scalp light and breathable. Now, I know people are like, well, why are we wearing cotton? Because we don't want to trap that sweat in. We want it to be light and breathable, okay? But I know y'all still want to tie your hair up. So, uh, also, Q Scott says, satin wrap to divinity. Yep. Coach and Lisa, is a bonnet better than a satin wrap for sleeping at night? So, it, it kind of depends on what kind of style you, you're wearing. So, for instance, like, say you have a silk press and it's and you wrapping it a scarf would be better but the only thing about scarves y'all make sure y'all not tying it too tight because some sometimes your edges are already compromised and you you messing it up we, i want the lord to do it for you for your edges this year anybody got compromised edges let the lord work in your life with those edges so make sure you're not tying it too tight a bonnet is good for, like, for me, I have my hair out, like, in a wash and go or twist out. If you want, like, loose styles, like, twist out, um, wash and go, braid out, I love to do the bonnets. Or you can do a scarf. Sometimes, like, if you have a flat twist updo, like, if you're wearing updos, ponytails, you can tie a scarf. For box braids, crochets, I like to tie a scarf. But me, I'm extra. I would tie a scarf and put a bonnet on top because sometimes I don't know what I'd be doing in my sleep. I'd be waking up like looking like who did it. I'd be diagonal across my bed. i just be laid out. So my head be turning a lot. So what I'll do is I'll tie the scarf, but sometimes my scarf will come off. But if I have a bonnet on top, my head is still protected. If that's too much, you can just do a, um, a bonnet. And do a satin pillowcase. Satin pillowcases are good as well. And I think I had linked that on my Amazon store as well. Satin bonnets are good. Okay, Tracy Ann said, okay, let's all do some searches together. Yes. So sweatbands. Wear something cool and breathable while you're working out. Yep, we did some. And they also, and see, here's the other thing. If you like a really, really heavy um, sweater, they have this band on Amazon I'm looking at called Dry Sweat Edges Active Wear Headband. $3.97. I wish I could show y'all. But yeah, this would be good right here. If you if you um get on Amazon, this would be good. Edge Active Wear Headband. Preserve your styles, absorbs, pesper. Oh Lord, I can't even pronounce stuff right now. Go where your heart takes you. So this brand is called Dry Sweat. Yes. So that's what we want. Something to catch the sweat. Okay. Um. Coach Haru is in the building. She says she's driving. Okay. You can drive, but be safe. And just listen. All right. Divinity said, Coach Haru, hope you had a... Yes, Coach Haru, I hope you had a great birthday. Coach Haru is out here in these streets this weekend, okay? She is enjoying her birthday. And I hope you had an amazing time yesterday. All right, Q Scott says, yep, Nike is a dry sweat band like the shirts. Yes, got my products. Yay, Coach Haru, you got your products today? I didn't think you was going to get your products the next week. But yay, you got your products. Just in time for your birthday. I'm so happy you got your products. So, yeah, we just did a little bit of Google searches together. Q Scott said that Nike has a dry sweatband. You can go get some on Amazon. So, those are the things you want to wear while you're working out. Something that's going to be breathable, light, keep it off your back. And here, and here is the thing. You have to know what styles is going to work for you while you're working out. Like, especially if you're somebody like... If you're really heavy in your workout game, like you working out probably five to six days a week and you do a lot of sweating, be realistic when it comes to choosing choosing hairstyles, your hairstyles, because sometimes we're not realistic with our lifestyle. So, for instance, if you're the type of person and 
let's just say your your workout game is on 10. Like, you like, Lisa, I work out about five, six days a week. Like, that's good. And I don't want you to stop from doing it. But choose styles that are realistic. Like, for example, if you work out five to six days a week, a blowout is not realistic while you're working out. I'm going to just be honest. And if you're 100% natural, a blowout is not realistic. If you get a blowout and you work out five, six days a week, just know that thing is not going to last. So maybe that's a week where you take a week rest. Now I don't want to tell you not I don't want to tell you to take a rest from your workout, but I'm just letting you know. Be realistic. A rod set is not really realistic because you're doing a lot of sweating. It's gonna swell, it's gonna get bigger, it's gonna get frizzy. It's not realistic. What else is not realistic? Even a twist out is not really realistic. Um, it kind of can be like if you the type of person where like me, I'm pulling it up into like a, a puff. If you're going to just wear it into a puff, a twist out or braid out can be realistic. But also when you get to sweat and it's going to swell and then you're going to find yourself retwisting your hair every night or every two days. And you don't have time for it if you're a big, if you're a person that work out big. So if you're a person who works out a lot, you might want to stick to protective styling. I don't know why the fuck I be having a burp when I get up here. Y'all, excuse me, take a drink of water. Okay. So, if you're working out a lot, you want to stick to protective stylings. Meaning, you can do... I have a client, and I want to put this short up. I'm going to edit this short and put it up there this week. She works out, I think, about five to six days a week. We had did flat twist updo, and we did two strand twists in the front, but I rotted the two strand twists, and I was actually shocked. I was not intended for her style to last two weeks, and it lasted two weeks. So what I did is I flat twisted it all up, so it's up, it's off her neck, is where her scalp can get some air, and it was breathable. And then I think she said she wore like the um. The sweatband, just to just to preserve the style. Something like that is realistic because you still can get down to your scalp if you need to. If you're feeling like it's kind of dry or you want to like kind of freshen up your scalp, you want to do something like that. Another realistic um style while you're working out is braids. Braids is like the most easiest goal too. So you can do like a braided ponytail. You can do box braids. You can do so many different styles. You can do a mohawk braids, but braids is going to be your go-to because those are things where you can go to the gym, you can really tie it down and have your sweatband and it be carefree. And even, you know, even if you're the type of person, you go swimming like as your workout, this is a game changer. And I did a video about swimming with your natural hair and stuff. So you can go watch that, but Box braids, even crochet braids are great or awesome if you're the type of person you work out a lot. Because I know some of y'all like, look, I ain't about to sit there for five hours for, you know, individual box braids. But you can get crochet box braids. You can get crochet twists. You can get crochet locks. You can get the crochet. Now, one one that I wouldn't recommend that you get if you're working out a lot and you sweat a lot is the crochet that's the loose hair. And what I mean by the loose hair, y'all ever see like the crochet braids that's like wavy and um, maybe the bohemian curl, maybe the tighter curls will work, but sometimes with that loose, real loose wavy crochet hair, I don't think that works, pairs well with working out a lot because it's softer and I just feel like it's just not, it's just not a good fit. It's just not a good fit in my opinion if you're working out and you're sweating a lot. So you want to stick to, like I said, the crochet box braids or the crochet, you can do crochet passion, passion twist. You can do the spring twist. Honey, they got every kind of twist you want. The Senegalese twist, every kind of twist. So you want to stick to things like styles like that so it's a little bit easier. And then also you can get in there and even shampoo like once a week if you need to or every two weeks if you need to. And so that way you still have a style and you still can work out. You know what I'm saying? So get stuff that's realistic. So those are the styles I would recommend if you're like heavy into your workout. Now, if you kind of like moderate, you you still like, 
I do about three days a week. You ain't really getting a heart sweaty and you know what I'm saying? You know, you just look pity pad. That's kind of like me. Like, I, I do about a little three days. You know, a little three days right now. I'm trying to amp it up a little bit. Some weeks I will do four to five days. But right now, if I can do a minimum of three days a week, I'm doing good. That's why I set the goal. But a lot of times, sometimes I go over. But if you do like three days a week, you don't sweat as much. You can do more styles. Like, again, you can do two strand twists with your natural hair. You can keep your two-strand twists in for two weeks and work out with that. And even when you're sweating, those two-strand twists can still look good. You can do the updos. You can do the twisted updos. You can do the braided updos. Or you can just do the um the crochets, like I mentioned. Now, you somebody you don't really be working out like that, I would encourage you, you need to start working out. You need to start working out. Okay, start somewhere. Start somewhere and... It don't always mean you have to just go in and like be doing like an hour every day of the week. Like, no, gradually work your way in. It could mean something, basically just being active. You can start out by just walking. You can even start out by just stretching, doing yoga. When I first was trying to get back into the hang of like, I need to start working out. I used to do yoga. Okay. And they was doing some stretches and moves that I didn't realize. I was like, my body ain't there yet. <laughs> and I was per sweating off of yoga. Okay? And I was like, because I was thinking like, this ain't really going to be no workout. Like, whatever. But no, yoga. And that yoga can also be a style. And if you want to be getting your little blowout and still trying to work out, you can maybe do some yoga. But depending on the yoga you do, you still probably can sweat that blowout out. Okay? So let's just keep that in mind. All right, Coach Sheena said, where do I find your products? I want to put my, when I get off live, I'll put the link to my website in my description box. But you know what? I think I can put it here in the chat. Let me do that. Let me do that. Let me do that. Okay. So, so are y'all learning something about working out with your natural hair? Are we motivated? Are we going to start working out with our natural hair or with protective styles? So there's the link to um, where you can get products. Okay. Coach Shane said, oh, no, I I had I had does and they kept sliding out. Oh, you, Coach Shane, you said you had got box braids and they kept sliding out. Oh, hold on. I missed some more questions. Hold on. I can see all this. Um, oh, Tracy and said, oh, I pray there is one body left on payday and I wanted nutmeg. Oh, Tracy, I pray there is too. I might get some more soon, but we'll see. Sounds like some nice sense. I ain't seen none of these. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. All right. Um, Okay, Q Scott says, I use Nike hairband from Dits doing workouts to avoid sweating out my edges. Works very well in preserving silk press wraps. That's good, um, Q Scott. I've never used their locks. I mean, their wraps. I don't know why I said locks. Okay. Oh, Coach Sheena, the wavy crochet locks. You said the wavy crochet locks keep sliding out. <laughs> Another thing you can do too, if you're wearing crochets and you and you notice that they be sliding out, because sometimes they'll happen like around the edges. What you could do is do individual individuals around your edges and do crochets in the middle. That's something I used to do with some of my clients. I don't even want to put it out there because I don't want to be doing all that. But when some of my clients would get crochet box braids, I would actually do like one or two rows of individual box braids, and then I would do crochet in the middle just to make it look more realistic and just to give it more longevity. So that could be another thing for you, Coach Sheena. You can do like the individual individuals in the front and then do the crochet in the middle. So that's another one that y'all can do if you're working out with your natural hair and you start to notice like when you wear crochet, and you sweat, they get loose. They them things will slip out, okay? Them things will slip out. So keep that in mind. Coach Shina said it was a mess. 
Girl, girl, I done seen it happen. I done been in the gym sometime and seen somebody hair laying on the side. I said, God bless them. God bless them. They hair done slid. Slam out. You hear me? So, yeah. So, and here's the thing. When you're working out with your natural hair, we done talked about all these things that you can do while you're working out and to kind of preserve your style. So, also, remember, we still need to be making sure our scalp stays clean, Okay stays clean and it stays moisturized so and also when working out we kind of get a little funk in that head okay now this this is a shameless plug she need to just talk about it let me tell y'all what's a game changer and this is why this is probably my, one of my number one sellers as of right now the rosemary stimulating spray if that head got a little uh got a little funk to it and you trying to refresh it because you got dinner with the boo, you got girls night, and you like, I don't have time to do all that refreshing and, you know, all that. Spray that rosemary on that scalp. Spray that rosemary on that hair, okay? It's going to give, it ain't going to say it's going to, you can't replace it with your shampoo day. But it's going to kind of like, it's kind of like a deodorant for the hair, okay? So you're going to spray that, it's going to. First of all, it's going to stimulate that scalp and it's going to make you feel refreshed. But it's going to also help get rid of that, that smell because the rosemary spray, I should have bought it in there, in here. It actually has like tea tree and all those kind of oils in it. And with that tea tree in it, it's kind of like an antibacterial. So it's going to help kind of give your scalp like a refreshing feeling, like a, a gentle cleanse, like this in between. You know what I'm saying? So... That rosemary spray is good for it when you're working out. And also, I know there's like people who work out a lot and they're sweating. Sometimes it gets itchy and it gets dry from sweating. So that rosemary is going to stimulate. It's going to kind of give you like a little temporary cleanse. You can always, you can almost think of it as kind of like a dry, dry shampoo in a way, but it's still kind of moisturizing. So it's not drying it out, but it's going to, it's going to stimulate. It's going to get those natural oils working. So we can be moisturized, okay? So we can be moisturized. So definitely consider that rosemary spray. Also, if, even if you don't do the rosemary spray, like when you're done working out for the week, if, if you're able to, if you're able to, because I know this can be a lot, if you, and this is for the people, I would say, I would give this suggestion, like if you a, a person, you work out real heavy, maybe five, six days a week, if you're able to, I would recommend shampooing on your rest day that's why i said figure out your schedule and this is for people where i'm talking about where you're drenched in sweat like on your head like i'm talking about drenched you probably the type of person need to shampoo on your on your rest day maybe once a week or either week and a half because we want to get all those toxins all that dirt from sweating and all of that and we and give your hair a reset okay we won't want to go too long without shampooing and you can do every two weeks and kind of do the rosemary in between but if you know you are a really 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 heavy sweater if you can try to shampoo once a week now i'm forgetting about the people who have locks forgetting about the people who have locks so if you have locks a lot of these tips can apply to you make sure even with your locks you're pulling your hair up and keeping it off your neck um where you can kind of stay cool in a way so your locks can get some some air. Same thing with the locks. In between, you can use the rosemary spray to kind of help with that stench, okay? And help you feel refreshed. And even with the ones with locks, you probably might need to shampoo every two weeks. Don't mean you have to do a retwist every two weeks because you can always just do little things. You can curl them, make them curly. If you're in between your appointments, you can braid them or whatever. But make sure... You might want to start, if you're sweating a lot every two weeks or so, you might want to cleanse them locks, okay? Because we don't want them things to be stank, okay? We don't want them things to be stank. So we need to just make sure that we're taking care of our scalp. In the meantime, don't let working out stop you. Well, don't let your hair stop you from working out. Because you working out is going to benefit your mental health, first of all. It's going to help your hair and it's going to help your body. It's going to help your skin. It's going to help all of that. So I'm just here to give you the tips so we can continue to keep working out. And just remember, choose 
styles that is realistic to your lifestyle. That's the key. Sometimes we feel like we can't work out with our natural hair, but you're not getting styles that is realistic to your lifestyle. Like if you're a busy on the go person all the time, wearing a twist out all the time might not be realistic for you. You need to, you need to find something that's going to work with your lifestyle. If you know you don't have the time to do all that maintenance and stuff, you need to find styles that are low maintenance. Same with your workout. If you need to go into a protective style for a while, maybe you in a season where you're like, I'm going in. So you might want to wear crochets. But remember, even if you're wearing the crochets or you're wearing the box braids, make sure you take time to rest in between. Okay. Try not to get them back to back to back to back. Give your, give your hair at least two weeks to breathe, get some oxygen. Okay. That can be a time where you just do individual two strand twists. That's a that's a great two strand twist is a great style to wear it. Also, if you're working out a lot and you don't necessarily want to put extensions in your hair, do the two strand twist. And really, you can even shampoo your hair with the two strand twist still in there without even taking the, the twist out. You can. You can get you like an applicator bottle. You know, like the applicator bottles that you see stylists use for color and stuff. Go to the little beauty supply store, get a little 99 cent applicator bottle. Fill it up with one part shampoo and the rest water, okay? So when you get in the shower, you can keep your two strand twist in. Get in the shower, rinse, okay? Rinse your hair. And then you're going to take the applicator bottle with the shampoo. You're going to shake it up and you're going to go in between your parts. And the reason why you want to dilute it because you don't want it to be too heavy so you having a whole lot of suds. But you can just go through... With the applicator bottle, with the shampoo. You can also do this method if you got box braids or crochets. And then just give your scalp a light massage, okay? Give yourself a light massage. Let it sit. Rinse it out. Condition your hair. Rinse it out. Get it out. And you still have your twists or your braids in your hair. And you can go on back to what you're doing. You see what I'm saying? Where you're not actually having to take those two strand twists out you know, retwist it. Okay. Now, again, I'm gonna let you know if you, if you don't intend on locking your hair, remember it. Now, eventually you're going to have to take them two strands twists out because your hair probably will start to lock. Okay. So if you just need to do this in between, like say you're working out a lot and you're like, look, Lisa, I'm, I'm working out heavy this week. I don't have time to take out my two strand twists. Okay, if you want to just shampoo it with two strands twists in this week, cool beans. Next week, you probably take them things out, okay, unless you're trying to lock your hair, okay? That's another gem I wanted to give y'all. Q Scott said, an exercise helps blood flow, which help with hair growth. Exactly. And that's exactly what the rosemary um, spray does is, is get that thing stimulating. Because when our blood is flowing, it's working out for everything. It's going to promote that hair growth, okay? So, we have to keep that in mind. That's why I'm so big on, like, taking care of ourselves from the inside out. Making sure we're eating what we need, the right things we need to be eating. Because this can benefit our natural hair as well. Our skin, everything. Even water. And remember, when you're working out and you're doing a whole lot of sweating, you need to make sure you are replenishing your body with water. Water, 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 water. My niece be picking on me on how I say water. She like, Auntie, why you say water? I say, I don't know. Water. But water, water. I'm about to drink me some more water. So remember that, guys. Do we have any more questions about working with natural hair? I hope I touched on all the pain points as far as working out with natural hair. Um, I think that was it. All I had to say, working out with natural hair. But hopefully this helps you. Hopefully this helps maybe a friend or a family member. And, you know, it motivates you, okay? Because we all in this journey together. We're trying to stay fit, stay healthy, and also have healthy hair and still look cute in the meantime, okay? So... If we don't have any more questions, and if you done said all you know, guess what? <laughs> it's time to go. So that's definitely what we're about to do on this Saturday night. I want to thank each and everyone for um, joining this live. And thank you to everyone that's probably going to watch this in replay. I appreciate y'all liking, y'all sharing, 
and commenting and engaging with me. I really do appreciate y'all's support. Uh, Coach Sheena said, that's a big old water bottle. Way to go. And I'm perpetrating. I'm perpetrating because, y'all, look. This is 64 ounces of water. So it's like a half a gallon. Ain't it a half a gallon, 64? A gallon is 128, right? So this is 64 ounces, okay? And the reason why I say I'm perpetrating is because this is left over from yesterday. Yesterday, I only got from here to here. So... I really started from here to here today on Saturday. So I'm really kind of perpetrating today. Like, I didn't drink all this today. I kind of was slacking yesterday, but I'm going I'm to try to finish this tonight. But I don't want to be peeing. I don't want to be peeing all night. But I'm, I'm going to try to get, I'm gonna try to get through it. But I got this off Amazon, too, if y'all wondering. And I used to, I used to um, do the gallon, the gallon one. I mean, this is about two or three years ago. They have a gallon one right here, and it has all the goals. But the way how my bladder is set up, I'm not ready for the gallon yet. So I'm trying to be consistent with this, and then maybe I move up to the gallon. But that's going to take another couple months because I think I got it. And I'd be mad. I had drunk that hot tea last night while I was on live. And then when I got off live, I had drunk some more water. I was so mad because, y'all, I had to get up so many times in the middle of the night to use the bathroom. Like, I was actually mad at myself. Like, girl. Girl. Like, interrupting my sleep. Um, Tracy Ann says, what does it say, Lisa? It says, thanks, Lisa. Got to start working out first. <laughs> Yeah, Tracy, yeah, we gotta start. Tracy, yeah, yeah, we gotta start working out first. Start small, stretch, fifteen minutes of stretch a day or yoga. It says seven a.m. says good morning. Nine a.m. says hydrate. Remember your goals. Keep chugging. Feeling awesome. Don't give up. That's where I'm kind of at. Almost finished, and you did it. You did it. And it starts from seven a.m. to nine p.m. And I think the gallon one starts from 7 a.m. to like 7 p.m. I don't know. But the key, but the key is though, what that I learned is I need to conquer most of this in the morning. So when I can conquer most of this like in the morning and before lunch, um, or be ahead of my goal, like before lunch, I'm I'm good. Cause I'll end up finishing at 8 o'clock, which is good. But yeah, we, yeah. D just drink water. Drink water, okay? All right. Um, uh, the dead demolisher. Okay, Q Scott, don't forget those stretches, ladies, too, because it makes a big difference in flexibility. Stress level, I see. Yes, and that is one thing, especially with me being on my feet a lot. I really make, try to make sure, like, even if the, even if it's the days I don't have time to work out that I am stretching because sometimes like I, I notice it. If I don't stretch or if I go to work and it's a busy day and I drop a cone, I'll be like, oh, when it's time to finally bend down. Oh no. And, and also stretching throughout the day. If you are a very active person on your feet, that's something that my uh, massage therapist told me like on lunch break or in between my clients take time to stretch. So that is a really good tip. All right. So that's all I have for y'all tonight on this Saturday night. So y'all be blessed and y'all keep on working out with y'all natural hair. And thank y'all so much. And I will see y'all in another video. Hold on. That Demontra said does stretch and help with back pains. Yes, it does. It does. Uh, that Demontra. Now, I ain't no... I ain't no doctor, but I do know stretching does help with back pain. And also, so, so, you can um, Google. I know one stretch that my therapist gave me was, like, you lay flat and then you pull your knees to your chest. So, find stretches that also help with your back pain as well. All right. So, is that all? Everything? Exactly. So, if you don't have time to do actual stretch every day, at least, yep. Physical therapist confirm. Okay, great. So, yeah, let's get our stretch on, okay? And then also, stretching before bed is very relaxing, too. 
and find you like a my client just put me on this and I can't remember she sent me the link but it's called bedtime yoga and what was the lady name I forgot if I can remember I will put it in the link in the description box but bedtime yoga and the way how my client described it like it's very relaxing and just help you sleep better okay so maybe that's something that you can start if you type person you're not working out like that maybe do bedtime yoga and maybe it'll just help with your mindfulness at the end of the day, just to kind of take it all in, show gratitude, and, you know, all that good stuff. So, anyway, I'm gone for real, y'all. I'm gone for real this time. So, thank y'all so much for watching this video. I'm going to see y'all in my next one. Bye! Oh, also stretching before bed is good. I'm kind of like them pastors. Okay, I'm, I'm about to get ready and go. Yeah, you're right, Tracy Ann. Stretching before you're getting out of bed, that's good, too. All right, well, if you said all you know, it's time to go. I'm going for real this time. Bye. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm going for real. <laughs> Bye.